big welcome to another of our free live classes on how to decorate your own door wreath. So the idea would be that you would go to your local florist or local garden centre and you would pick up a pre-made base. And some people would actually pick up a pre-made bow as well, or again, you can make your own bow. But before we get started, why don't you introduce yourself underneath, comment below who you are, where you're watching in from. Here in Case Flower School, we always like to know what's the weather like around the world, not just in Ireland, because obviously in Dublin, it's always cold. And to be honest, looking out the window, it's just stopped raining, but God, it'll probably start raining later on. That's the way the weather is here in Ireland. To let you know a little bit about ourselves, my name is Jeanette. I'm obviously one of the tutors here at Case Flower School, and we train uh, florists to be professional florists, whether it's work from home on the commercial basis, whether it's get a job in a flower shop, think about setting up their own business eventually, specialise in being a wedding florist, specialise in wedding bouquets, but nose corsages, etc. Or maybe be an event hotel decorator, decorating churches, etc. for special occasions. So all of our modules will cover all the different aspects of working as a florist or working within the industry. If you have any questions at all or you would like to speak to a tutor, contact us here. Drop us an email, add your telephone number and we can ring you back. Info at caseflowerschool.com. So I'm just making a little bow here and I'm just using this kind of like red velour ribbon that we have here at the school. We have lots of different types of ribbons. At the moment this seems to be one of my favourites. I know a lot of the customers seem to like it as well. So you can buy this ribbon in O'Neill's Florist up in RD County Loud. They have it for sale. But listen, if you're in the shops like your supermarkets in Ireland, like the likes of Dunn Stores in UK, Tesco's, etc., they all have ribbons for sale. And if you want more detail on making the bows, again, some people know how to make bows. Some people are brand new to it. If you go to the blog button on our website, we actually have step-by-step -step tutorials in slow motion showing you exactly how to make all different types of bows, whether it's with this wide ribbon that I'm using today, or again, if it's one of the narrower ribbons, or even the cheap kind of like florist ribbon that we have available. So how's everybody getting on? Are you all set for Christmas? Who has Santi? Who has all the Santi toys in? Or how, who, how is the decorations going? Have you got your Christmas tree up? When you're inserting the bow down into the base, some people like to put the bow at the top and other people like to put the bow at the bottom. My personal choice is to place the bow at the bottom, but it's completely up to yourself. I then like the hanger, just get the ribbon that's open here. This is just the cheap florist ribbon. I like this then to be up the top. So just cutting the length of our florist ribbon and what I'm able to do is hook it around the base. This can be done at the end, by the way. Hook it around the base that can't actually be seen. And then just get the two lengths the same length and tie it in a knot. Always make sure that you put a little hanger on it that the person can hang it on their door when they bring it home. Now to give you more information about these bases, these are what we call a 12 inch base. So the metal circle there is your 12 inch base. But like in total, the wreath is around 18 to 20 inches in diameter. They're quite big wreaths. We buy these in from Irish Green Guys. Now, Irish Green Guys would be a foliage supplier based here in County Kerry in Ireland. And like normally, you would be able to contact them and buy your bases from them. But once it gets into the month of December, you'll find that they don't allow any new accounts. So you're probably a little bit too late. But maybe next year, if this goes well for you, maybe next year be on the ball, get your account opened with them early, and then you will be, I just have these in two colours and I want to stick to the red ones today. Um, you could get your account opened early and then you will be able to purchase them wholesale. But I often find going to the lo local supermarket, purchasing one of the pre-made bases there, and often you find that there's one little poncetti flower or one little pine cone, and again, just pull it out and decorate it to your own taste. So I've added five of the poncettias there, one up at 12 o'clock, two on one side and two on the opposite side. The next thing I'm going to add is a couple of the pine cones. Now I like to add lots of pine cones in my wreaths and when I'm adding in the pine cones, I like to add them to the outside circle but also the inside circle. And I just find that it makes the wreaths look chunkier looking. Now as I was saying there, these are really well made bases. There's lots of spruce, they're noblest in them, they're not a bit miserable looking. Where I have seen some coming around there, and I tell you, there's more spruce 
on the back of my hand, you know, that way, than there is actually on the wreath. Like, they're very miserable looking. Now, when I'm decorating them up, I do add, I'll be honest, I do add quite a lot of decoration to them. But at the end of the day, that's personal taste. So if you're happy enough with just the five poncettis and the bow, and you want to leave it at that, that's absolutely fine. Or again, when you've added in the pine cones, if you're happy enough with just the pine cones, it's completely up to yourself. It is your taste. It is your style. It is your door wreath. You know that way. So again, decorate it to your own taste. Now, a couple of little tips and hints. When you're making the door wreath, okay, and you have it on your table, you could be doing this at home on your kitchen table. Always have the side that you're working on close to your tummy. What do you think of me Christmas t-shirt, by the way? Amazon.com. Um, always have that near your stomach. So when you're placing the wires or inserting the wires down into the base, as the wire comes out through the other end, we're making a little hook, like a little U-bend, and inserting it back up into the base, and that's what secures it in place. So this is what it's looking like so far. Can you see with the pine cones and the poncetti of flowers? Now what I'm going to add next is a couple of the mandarin oranges. So these are like these dried mandarin oranges that again, you can buy them in the wholesalers, but they also have them up in O'Neill's in Carlingford. You buy a bag of them, I'd say there's around 20 in the bag. Um, they do work out quite good value. And I have to say, the last time we bought the dried oranges up in O'Neill's, we got a great price for them. But I'm not sure if they still have any of them left, so that's why I don't want to mention the price here at the moment. But again, if somebody is watching there, they might actually tag O'Neill's flowers, put the at sign, and then put O'Neill's flowers, and then um, people will be able to go onto their Facebook page. Also, what I'm gonna add is a couple of the lemon slices. So are, these are actually orange slices. So a couple of orange slices, well, which I have actually wired. Now for anybody that's brand new and only maybe joining us for the first time, you might actually be interested on how we actually wire all of the items that I'm using here today. Because again, to save time, I have a lot of the material wired up already and prepared, and it just means I can demonstrate it, which a lot of people, they just actually want to see the demonstration. But again, if you go to our YouTube channel, find us Case Flower School on YouTube. I have lots of step-by-step -step tutorials, how to wire up the mandarins, how to to wire up the pine cones, how to make the bows, how to wire up the lemon slices, the cinnamon sticks, the lotus heads, the berries, adding in the fresh eucalyptus, you name it, it's all over on our YouTube channel. Now what I'd really love, okay, anybody that's watching there, and thanks a million for all the comments underneath, we would really love if you would share our videos. So what we're trying to do for the month of December is to post as many of these online tutorials as we can making the door wreaths. Well, we do it to build up our analytics and our following here on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So what you can do, ignore the ambulance there in the background. For any of you that don't know, we're actually based in Rialto, quite close to St. James Hospital. So every time an ambulance goes past, you hear it here at the school. And after a while, we just completely ignore it. Anyway, back to sharing. All you have to do, it'll take you two seconds, is click that share button, okay? Share it to your own page share it to maybe your flower arranging group page that you're in, your maybe childcare group that you're in, your knitting club that you're in, just share it. And again, just get the word out there for us. We would really, really appreciate it. And this is what our door wreath looks like. So keeping this one, I'd call this one fairly plain towards some of the other ones that I've done. But again, make sure that you follow us, interact with us, and then we'll always come up in your newsfeed. If anybody has any questions at all regards to door wreath, put the questions in the comments below. I'll respond back to everybody later on this evening. Or again, if you have any questions about training to be a florist or working in the industry or you're wondering what way the commercial courses work, drop me an email, info at caseflowerschool.com. And if you want me to ring you back, add in your telephone number. I'll ring you back. We can have a little chat and we can discuss what course will suit you best. Listen, thanks a million, everybody, for joining in. Thanks for everyone that has shared it. And again, anybody that's posting questions, if you're watching this on the replay, I will respond to you later on this evening. Thanks a million. Talk to you soon.